Megan in the restricted section. And today we're going to uh, do our TBR for Readorama. Yes, we are. And we're going to do it while we drink this banana bread beer. Yes. From Wells. Which I've always wanted to try this beer, but I didn't want to buy a whole six pack because I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> it's either going to be really good or it's going to be really, really bad. So we're going to yeah. try it and see how it is. It's not bad. It definitely has a banana flavor. It does, but it's not like overpowering. It's a nice banana flavor. Yeah. It it's tastes not bad more like banana. <laughs> oh, cat hair on it. <laughs> We're gonna ingest a lot of animal hair. That's what I do on a regular basis. Yeah, it's pretty good though. I like it. I do too. It tastes more like banana laffy taffy than banana bread. I though. love banana laffy too. taffy, so that's fine by me. Fine with a me. <laughs> All right, All so right. Uh, we just had the hankering for a readathon here. Yes. So we thought we'd try this one out. We've never done it before. Nope. Um, and there's a few different hosts. We'll put their um, their announcement videos down below. And this readathon is from the 11th, June 11th until the 17th, I believe. Yeah, 17th or 18th, I believe. Um, and there are seven challenges, or eight challenges, actually. Oh, right, because the first yeah. one is read seven books. I was yeah, like, the first oh. challenge is read seven books. And the second one is read a book with Rama and the title or the author name, so R-A-M-A. -A. Uh, so for this challenge, I chose the book Love, Dishonor, Mary, Die, Cherish, Perish by David Rakoff. And it's got R-A-M-A -A right there. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that this turns out okay because Megan tried to read it and said it was fucking terrible and DNF'd it. Yeah. But um, it says it leaps cities and decades as Rakoff sings the song of an America whose freedoms can be intoxicating or brutal. The characters' lives are linked to one another by acts of generosity or cruelty. And the whole thing rhymes, mm -hmm. which is weird. That's what kind of killed it for me because it didn't flow well. So it was like rhymy, but like really clunky still. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a try, but I have a couple backup books that yes. I might sub in if this one isn't doing it for me. Yes. And I'm going to do The Penelope Ad by Margaret Atwood. So this is a retelling of the myth of Penelope and Odysseus, and it focuses more on Penelope and her handmaids. So. Sounds interesting. Yeah. I thought it would be interesting. I got that at the last library sale I went to. Uh, so the next challenge is to read a book with water on the cover. And for this I have Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguru. Katsu Ishiguru. Katsu Ishiguru. <laughs> this is a dystopian novel that I've heard good things about, um, but I have not yet read it, so. I have that one too, I need to read it. But, I chose The Diving Pool by Yoko Ogawa, and this is actually three novellas in one, and I had seen um, Graham from Mega Man Chief Fan talk about this book and liked it, and I saw it on Book Outlet, hmm. so I snatched it up because it sounded interesting. Yeah. Um, it's a trio of novellas about love, motherhood, fertility, obsession, and how even the most innocent gestures contain a hairline crack of cruel intent. Ooh. So, I thought it sounded good, and it's got lots of water on the cover. Sounds interesting. So the next challenge is read a book less than 150 pages. So, uh, I chose B is for Beer mm -hmm. by Tom Robbins. Solid choice. Which is a children's book. <laughs> and it is 124 pages, I think. So... Oh no, my nose itches. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, hopefully that'll be good. I don't know. It should be a quick read because, I mean, it's got big old font and yeah. there's pictures throughout. So, should be an easy, quick read. Yeah. I'm trying to set myself up for success here right. with this read of fun. So maybe we can So I chose read. some, like, really short, what I hope are somewhat easy books. <laughs> um, I chose Anthem by... Anne Rand. 
Aang Rand. I've heard different pronunciations of her first name, so I'm not really sure. It seems like everyone pronounces it differently, yeah. but this is 123 pages. Now, I've never read anything by her. I've heard that a lot of people really hate her writing. I think people hate her philosophy more so uh -huh. than her actual writing. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I've read by her. And yes. I don't remember it that well, to be honest with you. Oh. Oh. Jill Gaffney. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On a napkin. All right. So we'll see how this goes. All right. So the next challenge is to read a graphic novel. Um, and for this, I'm going to borrow Batman the Killing Joke from Susan and read that. Yes. And I checked out Ms. Marvel from the library. So I'm going to read this. And this is by G. Willow Wilson and Adrian Alfona. And I've heard really good things about it. So it looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll also fulfill one of my read a harder challenges. Oh. <laughs> So this one actually. Nice. <laughs> uh, the next challenge is to read an own voices novel. So I chose <clears throat> I'm the Beggar of the World, and this is Land Days from Contemporary Afghanistan. So these are um, short poems written by women uh, living in Afghanistan. And it's translated by Eliza Griswold. So I thought that would be an interesting read. Yeah, it sounds really cool. Also, yeah. I chose The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison for this, and I'm hoping that it's not going to be too heavy a read for a readathon. I might swap this out with a different Own Voices mm -hmm. book. Um, I have one called Breath, Eyes, Memory by Edwidge Danticat that I might switch this out for, um, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. The next challenge is to read a book you've been anticipating. I have David Bowie, The Last Interview, and Other Conversations. I bought this a while back after I read a really disappointing biography about David Bowie. And ever since he died, I've just kind of been missing him. So I'm going to read this. I figured it would be good for a readathon because it's just a bunch of interviews, so it's not, it should be fairly light reading. Yeah. <clears throat> and I chose Marlena by Julie Bunton. And I got this in a bookly box a couple of months ago, and I've been really wanting to read it, so I thought I'd check it out, and I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've heard that it's pretty fast-paced, so I'm hoping it'll be a, a fairly quick read, but it's about this girl who's, like, kind of straight-laced, and then she becomes friends with her neighbor, who's, like, a, you know, like, pill-popping kind of manic pixie dream girl from what it sounds like. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. And then she ends up dying, um, the pill popping girl. And then it fast forwards to fast forwards to um, this girl as an adult and then somehow this death has come back to haunt her in some way. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've heard pretty good things about it. So I'm wanting to read it. Yeah yes. Yeah yes. Yeah yes. <clears throat> Um, is that me? Yeah. Okay, so the last one is to read a book released in the summer of any year. And I kind of had a hard time finding the, re like, the release <laughs> months of books, but I found that Fight Club was released in August of 1997 or 6. I don't remember what year exactly, but uh, August is summer. So that so works. So I'm going with Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. Good luck. <laughs> I thought that was a real stinker. Really? I thought you didn't well, hate it that much. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it. I didn't love we'll it. See. I chose The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This was published in June of 2013. So, there we go. You could have done a book with water on it, too. I thought about that, too. I was like, if I can't find a book with water on it, I could just do this one for that. Yeah, but that's our TBR for Readorama. Uh, if you guys are participating, let us know what you're reading. Yes. And I'm, I'm hoping, I feel like I'm going to do well this one. I I'm hope hoping so. so. I, I'm a little, I, I also am going to have to be, because I'm doing a buddy read of Dracula right now, and so I'm also going to have to read like 100 pages of Dracula that week. Ooh, a lot of... <laughs> 
It'll so be a heavy reading one week. That might be rough, but I tried to choose small books that I thought would be quick reads. And if I, um, I can always sub in Batman the Killing Joke, which is really short for something. So we'll see. And we'll I can see. Sub in some stuff if I need to. So yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. So uh, this beer, I like it. It's, it's not like my favorite thing, but no, but it's not bad at all. Mm -mm. I like the banana flavor. I do too. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm feeling it. All right, so that'll be it for us today. As per usual, there'll be some links down below where you can find us elsewhere on social media. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.